Hello friends, uh, my name is Hamid. Today I'm working on a KitchenAid um, oven. Uh, the customer is getting F1 E1 error code, which is communication problem between the display board and main control board. Uh, for this error code, very common problems are the main uh, main control board, which is located um, in the front under the cooktop. The main control board looks like this. And the port number is W11100619. I will pull the unit out. Usually, I go down the stairs, turn off the breaker. But on this house, the breaker panel has I cannot see the oven name on it, so it's easier to pull the unit out, unplug it, and then we can replace the part. can see the error code there so what causes this issue is that if you're boiling anything on top of the oven if water or liquid spills it goes in this area there is a little bit of opening they they install a gasket in here but that's that gasket is not going to do the job here uh, and also if you spill oil or the water Or anything it goes from the bottom of these areas the opening and it gets uh, dropped inside of the oven uh, where the control board is located right here when I open this panel you will see it um, I'll also check uh, how many codes we have by pressing cancel cancel start and we can go through the uh, steps here every time you press uh, 3 it will go through the diagnostic steps we don't want any diagnostic here but we want to find the error code control reset false and then you press the start press 3 again we got f1 e1 error code internal error and then press the start internal error code was f1 e1 and now we got f2 e1 shorted key so if these buttons are not working properly you will get this F2 E1 error code. At this moment, I ignore this error code because uh, we we already have problem with the main control board. I was here a couple of days ago, did my diagnostic, found the problem, ordered the part, and I'm here to replace it back. Internal error code again. Okay, so I can cancel it and I'm gonna unplug the unit. Usually there's three screws, one here, one left, on, one right and one at the center, but on this one we have uh, two screws, we take this uh, piece off, and then we got two screws straight, you can use uh, Phillips or Robertson to take these screws off, and now the panel lifts up, it lifts up. Okay, so this piece comes off, it's in front of the control board. And then there's two other screws that hold the control board in place. You will take those off. And then the control panel comes out, the control board comes out the main control board.
all the wires are wires are color coded but you can still take pictures if you're uh, not feeling comfortable doing this disconnect do not pull it from the wires or um, only pull it from the connector This metal piece also needs to take be taken off and reinstall it on the new board. There is one screw. There's two clips gets inserted in there. Pushes and then you can add your screw back in. Double check your connection, see the yellow, the black, red, the blue, and then your ribbon cable and this cable from the display. Your ribbon cable. And here's the old control board and I'll show you the spots. I'm sure you can see it, but look at those liquids that they fell down here, damaged the little small fuses here and it caused that issue. So that's the main problem. If you're not a technician, uh, you just want to see if there is any damage on this unit. You take your control panel off and just look in this area. If you got some drops in there, that can also tell you that you have a bad board. Look at those drops there see it and when reinstalling the control board back in you can see um, a slot here another slot here uh, they go in this area so I'll flip this back in so on this unit I can see they do not have a good uh, gasket insulation here there's no gasket here there's no gasket here but at the back of control panel there's a very tiny gasket and i don't think that's really gonna help so there's supposed to be a proper gasket uh, and installed from the factory once you put the once you reinstall your control panel you want to make sure look at this area that it's flat to the top from one side to another side that way you know that there's no opening no gaps and your control panel is installed properly there's two screws that i'll put back in um, i usually use extension extension really helps um, you can add the screws back easily if, with the extension Before you, before you install this uh, trim piece, you want to make sure to double check all your, your wires going underneath here because when you install, reinstall this panel back in, it may cause issues uh, or it may scratch the wires or uh, you will get any kind of issues here.
so now after the um, control board installation i'll go back again on diagnostic go clear the air coats of the resini no faults why we don't have faults because all the faults and air coats gets saved in this control board so i this so on the old one we got a new one I double check it just uh, to make sure everything is safe here. Yeah, okay, so I usually, uh, when I turn it on, quickly I, I tap on the broil element because that's the fastest way you can uh, test it if it's working or not it's already getting hot so the unit is working perfectly fine now i'll still run it for on 350 degrees i'll make sure it hits 350 without getting any error codes and then i know the job is done so you really have to test the unit don't just replace the part and leave the customer house otherwise you will get a recall back and they don't like it okay thank you so much for watching my videos if you guys have any question please comment below don't like uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share uh, my videos um the last uh, tip I will be talking to the customer to make sure this doesn't happen again. If customer is a handy person, I would recommend them to use some kind of uh, grid silicone in this uh, seam and that opening because I do not see any in gasket or insulation. So if the customer adds a little bit of uh, silicone, uh, clear silicone, so you won't see it and it would leak clean uh, then they're on the safe side this would not happen again and i'll tell them to be careful with boiling and stuff if uh, water drips on top of the control panel in this area they can get the same problem Thank you.